I call the regular meeting of the Millican Board of Trustees for May 10th, 2023 to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Town Clerk, will you please call roll? Trustee Beckman. Here. Trustee Dean. Here. Trustee Lane. Here. Trustee Meisner. Here. Trustee Wakeman. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Here. Mayor Austin. Here. Thank you. Does anyone have any additions or deletions to the agenda? Mayor, we would like to table the discussion item for the GIS um, as John and them are still out doing flood cleanup. Thank you. Any yeah. other additions or changes? I'll take a motion as amended. Move to approve the agenda as amended. Second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Dean. Yes. Trustee Lane. Yes. Trustee Meisner. Yes. Trustee Wakeman. Yes. Trustee Beckman. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Yes. Mayor Austin. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. And I'm pleased to say we now have a swearing in ceremony for Pat York with our uh, community justice court. Uh, you can please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Patty York, I, Patty York, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm, that I will support and enforce, that I will support and enforce the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, and the state of Colorado, and the state of Colorado, and the ordinances of the town of Milliken, and the ordinances of the town of Milliken, and shall faithfully perform, and shall faithfully perform, to the best of my ability, to the best of my abilities, the duties of the community justice council the duties of community justice council for the town of for the town of congratulations okay here in welcome aboard <laughs> <laughs> all right do we have any citizens comments tonight hearing none we'll just move right on is there any discussion or comments on the meeting minutes of April 26, 2023? Not, I'll take a motion. I move to approve the minutes as presented <coughs> for the April 26, 2023. I second. Town Clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Lane. Yes. Trustee Meisner. Yes. Trustee Wakeman. Yes. Trustee Beckman. Yes. Trustee Dean. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Ehrlich. Yes. Mayor Austin. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Next up, we have a very exciting town administrator's report from Administrator Powell. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> the last 24 hours has been exciting. <clears throat> anyway, um, so staff and I met with the Centennial Farms HOA president and um, others of the HOA committee uh, to discuss um, a few items they had concerns about and one which was the low pressure on the system um, and th that occurred last year for their irrigation on our um, non-potable system. <coughs> Saved by the bell. Sorry. It's okay. Um, so we did meet with them and kind of went over again what had occurred last year that the motor went down. <clears throat> took the town over a month to get a replacement motor for the pump house. Um, and uh, the other problem they have is that they're at the, kind of at the far end of the system. Um, so, uh, you know, they were wondering if there was anything that we could do. <clears throat> So Keith and I did speak. Um, Keith did inform them that last year he did find a val valve gate that was partially closed and that was contributing to some of the reason why they had lower pressure. Um, he remedied that. 
but um, we were talking about perhaps speaking to everybody that's on the non-potable irrigation system <coughs> and seeing if we can't come up with some sort of schedule um, so not everybody's trying to use water at the same time. So those using it um, at their time, if you will, have more pressure and, at, at that time. And also we did um, let them know that um, right now we're in the design phase of a second pump house at Ehrlich Lake. Um, and once we have that built, which is hopefully next year, that's what we're going for, that um, we'll split the system. <clears throat> and so then there should be plenty of pressure and water for everybody using the non-potable um, irrigation system. Um, also, um, as we spoke about during the work session, I attended the school board work session on May 3rd with Mayor Austin, um, Trustees Meisner, Wakeman, and Lane. Um, handed out things during the work session in and, and, uh, relation to that meeting. Um, also, about oh, approximately two months ago, I asked the town board um, if they would be interested in purchasing, purchasing, purchasing a few more units of uh, CBT. Um, I was approached by a person at that time that was requesting um, $73,000 per unit. Um, their family was just selling off a couple of units of CBT um, to do some work on this land, I suppose, is kind of how she told me. I didn't ask what, but <clears throat> anyway, um, she went back to her family after I talked to her again, and they're willing to sh uh, sell two units um, for 70000 So I would like to bring that back to the board uh, at the next meeting um, in order to do, to do so. We do have money in our water fund to make the purchase, so... Um, it would be just nice to add to our portfolio with a couple shares here and there. Um, we did plant nine trees at Windmill Park on Friday, May 5th um, to celebrate Millican's Arbor Day. Um, it was kind of a fun event, a lot of work for the guys, um, but I think it'll make a big difference on, as we do this um, in our entrances around town. So that's it other than <clears throat> if anybody has any questions regarding um, the flooding that occurred last night, most of it was done, or early this morning was done because um, the Hillsborough ditch overflowed and created some problems. Staff and um, farmers and members of um, the Hillsborough ditch uh, were, have been out working all day and clearing the ditches. <clears throat> even further than what they were, so, um, and cleaning up the roads. Yeah. How does a ditch overflow? Because that's controlled, isn't it? Um, it, it depends. Um, it's, it's you, know, you know, you're receiving, it's not a, so you're getting rainwater on top of water that's coming down the ditch. Um, so if there's a lot of rainwater, which is what occurred, and it just couldn't hold it both, so. So it's coming off the fields or mm -hmm. something because there's no crops and the water's just flowing off the, right. and going into the ditch and then- oh, Correct. Okay. Hmm. Do you okay. know how much rain we got? I don't. Um, I do not know. It was posted less than two inches. I think it's the hail that we got. It, no. Well, and it was, I know at certain points in time we received a, a heavy rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so that, of course, didn't help on top of the hail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, hopefully this evening, um, <clears throat> so the chief and I watched, or we were part of the, if you want to call it a, a town meeting um, that the National Weather Service held. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it appears that there will be less rain t tonight into tomorrow than what we received the last night. But again, everything's saturated, so we'll just have to watch it and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. We're doing our best. Um, guys are pretty exhausted. Um, roadways washed away. We brought in a lot of uh, road base today, um, like three ton, three hundred ton. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Wow. And we are still under a tornado watch for those who are interested. Yeah. 
I thought it had expired. Not yet. Oh, okay. So, anyways, lots of work. But the guys are doing a great job. Yes, they are. So, and we did have um, citizens had help too. So, at some point in time, we'd probably like to have them come to a town board meeting and thank them. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I have one. Yes. <clears throat> Um, so I did reach out to them. They um, did not, uh, their board did not hand out their, their um, approvals on anything. They were supposed to do that at some point in time today. I have not heard from him yet. I have not that looked unless it's, you know, happened. So I'm pestering them. So <clears throat> their board? Correct. Yeah, their board. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you for that update. You're welcome. We have nothing on the consent agenda. We're moving to the action <coughs> agenda. And for this, we are convenient, convening as the Liquor Licensing Authority. So we're now in session as the Liquor Licensing Authority. And we have a public hearing for a hotel and restaurant license with optional premises for uh, Thompson Rivers Parks and Recreational. This is being presented by Carrie Reinbarger, town clerk. And since this is a public hearing, the time is 641. I am opening the public hearing. Mayor, I'm going to recuse myself since this is my employer. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor and Trustees. So tonight, uh, Thompson River Parks and Rec has submitted an application for a hotel and restaurant license with an optional premise for the Mad Russian Golf Course, located at 2100 Country Club Parkway, which they have become the new operators of. The staff report and the posting of the town board meeting and agenda was prepared in accordance with municipal code section 6210 through 6240, 62230, and 62310. The application submitted an application to the town of Milliken on March 23rd, 2023, with a request for a concurrent review by the Colorado Department of Revenue. The application was received by Dora on April 5th, and we have received confirmation that the application is in their queue for review. Applications at this time are taking between 60 to 90 days for review with Dora. Based on staff's review of the application and an investigation, um, the following notes I would like to make. The public hearing was noticed as required by law in the Johnstown Breeze on March 30th, 2023, and the property was posted with a notice of the hearing date. As of today, we have received no comments, questions, or concerns from anyone. The applicant, applicant submitted documentation, which has been included in your packets, that satisfies the statutory requirements included, particularly those set forth in 44-3-309. The town received an application on March 23rd, 2023, and staff deemed it complete, including payment of all fees and set a public hearing. Staff provided the applicant with the to copy of the town's preliminary findings which is included in your packet and they will receive after the meeting. The applicant proposed location is located within a C4 and a PUD zone district. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but the Mad Russian actually has three separate subdivisions. Um, so there does it does have two separate zone districts. Um, both of those zone districts do allow for the sale of alcohol in that. There are new, no schools within 500 feet of the premise location. And the premise has been previously licensed for the sale of alcohol beverages, and the venue has been popular and successful for years. The application in part reflects a change of ownership. The applicant provides numerous other recreational resources that are also popular in the community and valuable asset to the operation of the venue. No objections to the applications have been received. In light of the foregoing and testimony of record, the reasonable requirements of the neighborhood was established at licensing. Um, one delay I did want to point out why it took so long to get before you guys is another um, uniqueness about the Mad Russian Golf Course is part of it is annexed into town and part of it is unincorporated Weld County. So it took some time to work out the details with Weld County. Um, I did include an email in your packets from the attorney of Weld County that just stated that 
they can consume alcohol and that part, but no sale of alcohol can happen. Um, I did discuss that with Clint and he is aware and in agreement to that. Um, staff does recommend that the liquor licensing authority for the town of Millican approve the hotel and rec restaurant license with optional premise for Thompson Rivers Parks and Rec for the Mad Russian Golf Course located at 2100 Country Club Parkway and approve the proposed finding of facts. Uh, Mr. Clint Dudley with TRPR is in attendance. If you have any questions for him or myself. And with that, I thank you for your time and submit all documents into record. Okay, we'll go with questions from the board, starting with uh, Trustee Wakeman. Um, could you explain the optional premises? Yes, ma'am. So because the golf course is divided by a roadway, you have to have what's called an optional license because it's not a continuous parcel. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all I have. Trustee Lane? I have no questions. Trustee Meisner? No, I have no questions. Trustee D? I'm just curious. Uh, I, the buildings are in the, the town. Are any of the holes themselves in the town? Yes. Um, it's, it'd be easiest if we actually looked at the Weld County Assessor's website so we could show you how complicated it really is. But yes, there are um, portions of holes and entire holes that are within the town. Um, along Highway 60, the holes that you can kind of see as you're driving right there, those holes are in the city limits. And then there's some kind of on the north side of the golf course that are also in the city limits, um, which allows us to sell alcohol through a beverage cart on those at those locations. Mm -hmm. um, it's inconvenient that we would have to sell them only at those locations, but it is convenient that those locations tend to be spots where alcohol may want to be purchased. So I think it will be fine. <laughs> Any other questions? No, that was all. Trustee Beckman? Any questions? No, no questions. questions. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we got the Weld County part clarified. And you didn't include a license for TRPR out on Centennial. We're going to get one, one, one thing done at a time. Mm -hmm. Just ask. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is in the plans if we're successful with this. I see. Thank yes. you. All right. Well, I have no further questions. I think you covered it very well, um, Clerk Reinbarger. Um, Thank you. So, is there any further discussion at this point? Any comments from the public? All two of you? <laughs> no. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The time is 648 and I'll close the public hearing. I'll take a motion on the matter. I move to approve the proposed findings of fact and order granting a hotel and restaurant license with optional premises to Thompson River Parks and Recreation District for the Mad Russian Golf Course located at 2100 Country Club Parkway, Millican, Colorado. I second. Town clerk, please call for a vote. Trustee Meisner? Yes. Trustee Wakeman? Yes. Trustee Beckman? Yes. Trustee Dean? Yes. Trustee Lane? Yes. Mayor Austin? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Millicent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're now reconvening as the town board. We move between the two. Uh, we took the item off the discussion agenda. Do we have any board member reports? I did a, did attend the uh, Northern Front Range MPO, and they they continue to have lengthy meetings. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. And nothing exciting for no. us. Okay. Anybody attend any other meetings that they want to report on? Okay. I'll take a motion to adjourn. Oh, Mayor. Yes. Did you want to update on the water from um, Dunstone Brink? <clears throat> the drinking water. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Vegas. I didn't think we were putting that on the agenda, but okay. I think it would be good to have on record. Yes, yeah. please update us. 
Good Sorry, evening, Dad. Mayor, trustees. Um, I'm here to give you an update on the boil order. Um, from the flooding that we had last night, what ended up happening was the Hillsborough ditch was over and inundated with, as you said, the, the water coming off the farms. And it carried with it a lot of debris, plugged up the ditch, the ditch overflowed and flooded the area around the water treatment plant. Um, some of that water infiltrated the treated water storage tank that's below ground. Um, we contacted the state. We did testing right around that area and the water was clear, had good chlorine residual, looked good. Um, but when we talked to the state, um, they told us looked like we did everything we needed to do and they left it up to us as to whether we wanted to do a boil order or not. Um, there was in that vicinity of the overflow that where the water got into the tank, uh, a dead animal. Um, so at that time I elected to go ahead and do a boil order just to be on the safe side. The plant was shut down when we found it. Everybody was out doing cleanup. So we didn't find it until around probably 10 o'clock that we actually had the plant was down. And what we can't guarantee is that the plant was down before the water infiltrated the tank. And since I can't guarantee that, I didn't want to take any chances of the system being contaminated. So as a precaution, we went ahead and did the boil order with the state. Um, we've already tested, we flushed hydrants around the town and we're waiting for those tests to come back. They, tw they take 24 hours at the lab. So by probably four to five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we'll know. And as long as those tests come back with no bacteria, we'll lift the boil order. Anybody have any questions? So will we the text messages that sent were sent out, were those sent out via the code red? I Is believe- that how you guys got the phone numbers? I'll be honest with you, I was working with the state and the state contacted them. They in turn contacted me. I'm not sure how that system works, but I've talked with uh, Town Hall and we are gonna try and put something together in the newsletter to let everybody know how that works. Because I have had comments from some of the residents that did not get that message. So we wanna put it out there so that yeah. if, they, if they can get signed up and want to, then they know how. Yeah, I got the message, but my husband didn't. And I just texted all my neighbors that I need their phone numbers to make sure they knew. And some were like, oh, I didn't know. Some did. So I was just wondering. Yeah, we put it out on Facebook, the website, uh, yeah. next door. You guys did all you can do. <clears throat> I don't know what message is out right now, but I wonder if it would be valuable to tell the people what basically what you just told us, Don, as far as um, how long it would take that they need to plan to boil at least through we, we a added that. notice or something so that they don't think, do I still need to keep doing it? Oh, we will, we will we'll notify. As soon as we'll, we'll do the same process to notify people when we lift the, the boil order. Um, the reason I didn't give a lot of information is we had a lot of people calling in saying, do I really need to do this? And my concern is if I give them the same amount of information this afternoon, that people would disregard that. And I don't want anybody to take a risk until we know for sure that the water's safe. We, and if we, oh, go, ahead. go ahead. Sorry, I, I was gonna say, we did add on the website and the Facebook page that it would be until at least late tomorrow afternoon. Okay. And we would yeah. provide updates. Okay, I didn't yeah. see that, so. My other concern is if one of those tests does come back, we'll have to extend it, so. Okay. Right. Um, I, yeah. I guess the point I'm trying to make is if people know that they need to watch for the next notice when it, when the next notice might come, maybe they're more apt to pay attention than if if they don't know what the what the procedure is going to be. But we can put some updates out tomorrow to as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll put some. We we right. did add the tomorrow afternoon, but um, if there's any further updates, if we find out something sooner. Um, we'll certainly put it out there. Thank you. I appreciated the, the explanation. So, I, and I had a resident. They just knew that there was a boil order, but they they were they didn't know any more. And it might be helpful to explain in a little more detail 
what brought about your decision. I think it was the right decision to go ahead and do the boil order, but it would have been helpful to, for the public to have a little more background on it. We can do that. Like I say, I was concerned that people would disregard it if I gave them Oh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't undercut you need to boil. Yeah. But just, hey, we had an overflow, the ditch was backed up, and we had a dead animal. We're concerned for your well-being, so you need to boil. That kind of an explanation is what I'm saying. The, the, the only other thing that I'm wondering is, you know, when you get the notice, we've got water already in the lines that's probably safe for a little while. But then once you say, okay, it's safe, does that mean that all that water that's in the lines has been used up and we're, you know, and everything's clear? Or is it just clear where you are in testing and the rest of the lines might take a while to get that water cleared out? We had uh, some public works guys and then my guys were out all day from the time we found the problem until, well, they're actually still out flushing now. The samples were taken late okay. afternoon. I wasn't thinking about the flushing, yeah. yeah. So you've been going through the lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've probably flushed 75 to 100,000 gallons through the system to try and make sure that everything's out. Okay. Okay. And, and when Weld County does their sampling, they, they sample different areas of town, yeah. so it's not in just one place. Okay. Yeah. Right. So Thanks for the we, clarification. We picked those sites specifically because of the way the, the water flows into town and where the RO is located, how we felt that that water, if it did get into the system, may have entered the system. Okay. Because our normal sites are a little more a business oriented, but we did get a couple of residents in those affected areas to be okay. sure. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No, thank you for the sure. update and report. All right, if there's no further uh, business, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? None. We're out. Thank you. Thank you.